fortunate to have Carl Johnson with me this afternoon from uh, the TARDAC. The, uh, in fact, I'll let you explain what that acronym is uh, uh, all about. It's the Tank Automotive R&D Center. We do all the ground vehicle integration and research for the Department of Defense. Kind of straight and narrow, that's how it's handled. I've been with the government for 21 years, worked many different projects. Uh, none has been as exciting as this project. This project is pretty big as you can see. This is one truck that we've built. We've built two different trucks, both trying to squeeze out fuel economy for soldiers. Oh, outstanding. Now, we are hearing that uh, fuel economy and, and fuel efficiency has become extremely important to the Army. Can you give us a little back, bit of background as to why it's so important to the Army when it never was in the past? Sure. It's, it does seem like a little counterintuitive that we're worried about fuel, but fuel is the number one thing delivered on the battlefield. The number two thing is water. You're not really going to cut down the water that the soldiers use. So we're looking at the fuel and how we can deliver the less fuel and get more use out of it. So by making more efficient vehicles, we can keep less soldiers in harm's way, delivering fuel to these other soldiers who need it. And also, if you look on the battlefield, everything is electrified, everything takes power. So the better use of the electrical energy and the better use of fuel, we can help the soldier fight the better fight. Can you tell us about some of the things that your team has developed that you're particularly proud of or that you feel are particularly important with the vehicle that you brought here? Right, like you mentioned, these are demonstrator vehicles. This is the fuel-efficient demonstrator. We have two trucks, the Alpha and the Bravo. This is the Bravo truck you see behind you. Now, the Bravo truck will do everything a Humvee will do. It will do carry four people, it will traverse the same terrains, but it will do it at 90% better efficiency than a Humvee. Now, I'm not trying to speak badly of the Humvee. The Humvee's a great vehicle. It's just an older vehicle. This is all modern technology. What you see behind you is a hybrid electric road-coupled parallel. It's a lot of technology in there, but that's where a lot of the efficiencies come from. We have carbon fiber rear and front panels to reduce the weight. It's a two-frame chassis. Again, everything to make a nice rigid chassis, lightweight. We even went as far as to go low rolling resistance tires, developed by Goodyear just for our program. These are the only ones that exist. Again, anything we can do to get more fuel efficiency at a system level. So that's why you see this truck here gets 90% better. Now the other truck, the Alpha truck, while not a hybrid, still gets 70% better. So if we can deliver those improvements to the soldier, that's one less thing that they have to worry about in the field.